What's up everybody? So first of all, I just wanted to start off by saying thank you to everybody who has supported me from the first video that I posted, whether it's been sharing it, liking it, uh, subscribing to my channel, whatever it may have been, um, whether it was Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it's really all meant so much to me so far in just one week. It's, it's really been amazing, all the positivity, all the great feedback. So I really just need to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot. But with all that good stuff being said, um, I'm going to be starting off these first couple of videos with tying leader to braid. Um, I'm going to assume that most people have braid on their reels. I know it's considered the new school way, but um, it is 2020, so I'm going with the new school way. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, anyways, there are a couple different knots that I typically use for tying the leader to braid. I will be doing... Uh, separate videos for each of those knots that way it's nice and organized you guys don't have to worry about flipping back and forth and fast forwarding rewinding whatever it may be so we'll make it easy we'll make it nice and concise for everybody so this first video I'm going to be starting off with an Albright the Albright knot is really good for when you're casting uh, whether you're bottom fishing it's pretty much universal it's a it's a great knot it's an easy knot um, it's one of the first knots I personally learned so let's get started on that one. Um, so like I said, it is good for when you're casting and especially right now with um, striper season upon us, I think it would be really good for you guys to learn this one. So uh, anyways, I got my jigging rod, so it only makes sense to use this one. Anyways, so we're gonna take our braid, all right? Get myself some slack. All right, so take my braid. I'm gonna wet it a little bit. Don't be a weirdo. Um, this is fluorocarbon. I personally think it's all BS. I think it's a waste of money unless like it's beginning of fluke season and you're like skinny water fishing or in the bay or whatever. Um, if you're like deep water um, in the ocean for fluke, then kind of think it's a bunch of bullshit. Watch your profanity. I mean, it's useful for other type of fishing, but for the fishing that I'm primarily talking about here, I don't really see a use. Like I said, if once you're in the ocean, I think it's all BS. Just throw the hell out. Throw them the fuck out. Throw them the fuck out. Get out of my sight. I'm done with this. Oh. Yeah, throw it out. Um, anyways, so right here, I got a 30 pound test uh, monofilament leader. So I'm going to take my nail clippers, just snip this off, just practicing before. Um, okay, so like I said, you wet the braid a little bit, things are a little bit easier when they're wet. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Yeah, I said it. So I'm going to take this leader, I'm going to bite it in half, okay? So now I have this nice little pinch right here. So now I have a nice little hole. Fishing is very sexual. Um, we're just gonna have to roll with it, all right? Anyways, so now that we have this <laughs> little uh, hole right here, we are going to take this braid, okay? And we're gonna feed it through the loop. That's the word we'll use, we'll use loop, okay? So now we're gonna take this braid, we're gonna pull it all the way down to about this tag end. It could go even longer. Um, I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit for you guys. That way it's a little bit easier for you guys to learn. Um, anyways, so now that it's fed through here, through the loop, I'm going to pinch it and hold it all together. I'm going to start taking the braid. I'm going to start wrapping it around the double. So just bear with me. I'm a lefty, so I'll flip it around for you guys. It might be easier to learn this way. So I'm going to pinch and I'm going to wrap around the double. So the braid goes around the double. So I'm gonna go about eight times down. I'll go a little bit more just for exaggeration. That way you guys can get the hang of it. There's really nothing really wrong with that, but it's, it's what I do, okay? So I'm gonna wrap it down, keep wrapping. So once you get down, once you do about your eight, whatever it may be that you're practicing with, um, it's gonna look something like this. So just bear in mind that I'm not using a professional camera, I'm just using an iPhone camera. So if things don't look too clear, I will post pictures, uh, what it's supposed to look like, but I'm getting there. Anyways, 
So you can either complete it from where it is right now, and we can end it here, or we can go back up and do a little more security. So by that, I mean we're gonna spiral it back up. So you're gonna go over where you went down. You're gonna spiral it up over the spiral down. So spiral it up, spiral it up, keep on going. So do this last one right here. So now it should look something like this, okay? So that end piece that I have right here, right there, that thing, that piece, this piece, um, that's gonna go in the opposite direction it came in. So you wanna make sure you hold it all together and it's going the opposite direction that you went in originally. So now it should look something like this. Okay, so now we're gonna hold everything all together and we're gonna pull and then it's gonna slide nice. And just like that, okay? So now you're left with these two tag ends and I also do just wanna say, um, this piece right here, that little nub that you have, when you see you're gonna have a piece of um, the lead, yeah, the leader, it's gonna have a little nub. That's what you wanna see. If your braid goes over that little loop and sometimes the braid will end up like up here or something, the knot will end up up here on the braid, throw it out, restart it, don't be lazy, it will slip on you and you will you will regret it. So don't do that. Don't be lazy. Um, just restart it, practice, it's all good, no worries. So we're gonna take the tag ends and we're gonna cut them off. I just use nail clippers, they're nice and cheap. You don't have to worry about getting those um, fancy ones, the boomerangs, whatever they are, unless like you got them for a gift or something, I wouldn't waste your money on them. Go uh, just get a pair of nail clippers, 7-Eleven, CVS, Amazon, you can get a bunch for really cheap. Um, so just clip the, clip the tag end off. Um, clip the tag end off. And then you're gonna clip the other tag end off. And make sure it's the tag end that you're cutting off, not the main line, because you will regret that, because you'll have to restart it, and that's not fun. So pay attention. So we're gonna wrap it around our hands, and we're gonna test it, and we're gonna pull, and it's all good, we're locked in there. One more other thing I wanna say is check your braid. Always check your braid before you start. Um, even when you come up after you checked it already, check it again. The line could be frayed, especially when the bluefish are out there. They'll fray your line, they'll throw it to the bottom, and then all of a sudden your line's gone. And then you're not catching a fish. So check your line, don't be lazy, be smart. Um, I hope you guys learned something from it. If you guys have any other questions, just let me know. Like I said, I'll be doing a couple more videos of different knots. Um, might be easier for you guys, might be harder. Uh, anyways, let me know if you have any questions and you could shoot me a DM, you could shoot me an email, whatever it is. Just let me know. I'll be here. So I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.